In this video you will learn about the IR sensor controlled DC motor. So let's make the circuit and first of all pick the component from here. First of all, search for infrared sensor. So here you can see the IR sensor. Double click on it. And now choose the logic state. So here you can see the logic state. Double click on it. Now search for the cell. Double click on it. Now search for the DC motor. So here you can see the active DC motor. Double click on it. And now choose the relay module. So here you can see the active relay. Double click on it. And now click on OK. Let's make the circuit and first of all place the IR sensor here. Now place the DC motor here. Now connect relay with it. Connect it like this. Now connect the battery with it. Here you can see the battery voltage is 1.5 volt. Click on edit properties and make it 12 instead of 1.5. Now click on OK. And also change the properties of this. Change it to 5 volts. As we will control it with the help of this sensor. So now let me connect the power and ground with sensor. From here connect the power with the IR sensor. Connect the ground with it. Ground the relay as well. And also ground the circuit as well. Connect the out pin of sensor with relay pin like this. Now connect the logic state with it. Place it here. Now rotate it, X mirror. Bring it close to the sensor. And connect it. Now your circuit is almost ready. Now you will have to add the hex file to the sensor as well. Otherwise it will not work. So let me run it without the hex file to see the error. Here you can see that program property is not defined. South close it and now add the hex file to it. Click on edit properties and from here you can search for the hex file. Here you can see the infrared sensor library for Proteus. You can download this library from the link provided in the description. And if you don't have the IR sensor in your Proteus, you can watch my video link is also available in the description and in that video you can learn that how to add the IR sensor to the Proteus. So now open it. Here you can see the hex file in this. So this should be added to the simulation otherwise it will not work. Now your circuit is ready and let me run it. The working of this project will be that, whenever the IR sensor detect any object, so it will then start the DC motor. And when the object removed in front of the IR sensor, then the motor will be stopped. In logic state, zero means that no object is in front of sensor. Whenever it goes to one, this means that now something is in front of the IR sensor. Now make it 1 and check the result. As you can see the motor started now, this means that the IR sensor detected any object and now the motor started. Let me make it 0. So here you can see that, now nothing is in front of it. So here you can see the motor stopped. Let me check it again, whenever it goes to 1, the motor started and whenever it goes to 0, the motor stops. Let me check it again, make it 0 and then check the result of the motor. So this was the method of how to control the DC motor with the help of IR sensor. The circuit diagram and library link is available in the description. You can download from there. If you like the video please subscribe my channel. Like and share the video. Visit my channel for more videos related to it. Thanks for watching.